Welcome to Predatory Fins. Again, we're here. We're going to try to show you what we do and the reason why we do it. And at the end of this video, we're going to be doing a giveaway. Alright, so comment below at the end of the video. Let me know why or what's the reason why you should be the winner of the giveaway. And I'll let you know what fish I'm giving away. Alright, so follow me through what we're going to show you today is... I have a couple of fish in mind that I want to talk about every every video, uh, but today's video especially I want to talk about the, the hyphen, the Chinese hyphen loach. It's a fish that not many people know what they look like when they're big and they're great for ponds and they actually can take cold water. So just like the sturgeon, the paddle fish, the hyphen loach is amazing, really nice fish. I think they grow up to like four feet long and they totally change what they look like from small to adult. Guys, I'm sorry about how I have to start speaking really loud because it's so loud in here. We have over 20,000 gallons of water in different tanks. You can take a look behind me here. That's 12,000 gallons. This one's 2,000 gallons. This one here that we're gonna assemble for the guard pond, this one's gonna be 5,000 gallons. But behind you, if you turn around, behind you we have a bunch of tanks the totaling together is more than 20,000 gallons of water so it's very loud in here and I'm gonna have to scream and talk really loud for you to be able to hear me this is a pond that I built myself it's actually 16 feet long by 8 feet wide and uh, it's made out of plywood and uh, pond liner the reason why I built this pond was actually to grow my fish before I could afford something like that but once this pond right here is ready. We are gonna move all the gars and Paco. This is gonna be a Paco and Gar pond. And we're gonna move all these fish. And this pond is gonna be mainly for rescues. We have a rescue program. And if your fish gets too big for your tank or if you catch a fish that's not supposed to be in the wild, bring it to us, we'll put it here. Uh, we can quarantine it here. And either it's gonna go into that tank, this tank, or we're gonna have to ship it to someone else, like a zoo or somebody that can actually house these big fish. But this is my, this is my dream. I had a dream before I opened this business that I was gonna have a huge tank for my Arapaima. And this is it right here behind me. So, it's a lot of work. We took a long time to get it done. I'm gonna turn the lights on for you guys to be able to see it for real quick. So all these fish right here, they're not for sale. They're part of our gallery. You know, we have a fish rescue, but these are my fish. These are predatory fish. fish. Hey, can you do the Connor walk? <laughs> How was it? So stupid. Well, you asked me to do it. All right, let's talk about these fish today. Wait, wait, wait. You're not going to introduce me? All right, all right. So, guys, this is the camera woman, my wife, the love of my life. She's the reason why I'm able to do all this stuff because I had to get her permission. So make sure you're nice to your girl, to your wife, to your mom, so they can let you do the same thing that I do here. There you go. Thanks. Can we continue now? <laughs> all right. So I, I'm a big fan of predatory fish, but I actually fell in love with these fish. Get closer. These guys, uh, they're called Chinese banded shark because of the, the stripes or the Chinese hyphen loach. They're amazing fish. They can actually live in cold water and they're vegetarian. Uh, we've been feeding them algae pellets, right? Yeah. Yeah, we've been feeding them algae pellets. Uh, once in a while, I guess, we, I've, I've heard that they, they like blood worms as well. But these guys can grow two, three, four feet long and they look amazing. They look so much more different than what they look right now which is a lot of people don't know, but I saved a picture on my phone to show you how cool they actually look. What? Yeah, I know, right? With, totally different than that. Amazing, amazing fish. They're actually really good for ponds because they eat algae, so they're good pond cleaners. 
kind of like a pleco, right? But better, because plecos they actually poop a lot. These guys are different. They 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 don't they don't get your pond or your tank as dirty as a pleco would. But they're always swimming. They like to swim in groups. They're really really nice. They got an awesome face on them. If you can get closer, I love the way they look. As far as like not being a predatory fish, I really like the species because of the way they look when they get bigger. I'm actually saving about five of them myself to put it in our main pond, main tank. But the way they look, man, I, I think this is amazing. That's why I put them in this 500 gallon tank because they're awesome fish. And sometimes when I'm sitting in the office back there, I can see them just going back and forth. Uh, they just arrived, they're new arrival. They came in from Asia. As you can tell like that little guy right there is a little bit skinnier. I'm gonna have to pull him out and treat him separate because we don't want any fish to die. But who can they be in the tank with? Well, they're not aggressive. So they can be, they, they're community fish. They can be with any other fish. They're not, you know, gonna eat them as far as like an alligator gall would chop them in half. An arapaima will swallow them. But as long as they're, they're on the same size, they'll be fine. But the thing with them is they're like cold water. So they could be with a sturgeon, they could be with koi, they could be with uh, with paddlefish, you know, and you don't have to worry about heating up the water. They're they're really, really awesome fish, especially when they get big, so you can if you saw the different color. Um, but as far as not non-predatory fish, this is definitely one of my favorite species. We have them for sale on our website, www.predatoryfins.com. If you want to purchase one or if you want to ask me more questions about it, just let me know. But other than that, this is going to be our talk, our fish for the day. Every time we upload a video, I want to try to talk and teach about different species. This was our first one, so I hope you guys liked it. If you have any more questions on it, but I do have a surprise for you at the end of this video, which is I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. And the giveaway will be picked by Zach. He doesn't even know that yet, but I'm gonna have him pick somebody. Basically, at the end of this video, I want you guys, I want you guys to comment on the description below what why you should be the winner for this fish that I'm gonna be giving away at the end of the video. Okay, so say I'm on the website and I'm looking to purchase. What can you tell me about what kind of tank size and home this is best for this fish? Okay, so depending on how many you're gonna get, but at this size right now, I wouldn't get anything less than 100 gallons because this fish will grow fast and they do better in groups. So I would at least get two of them if you're trying to buy it, not because I'm trying to make money, but they do live better in groups, as you can tell, they swim together. Uh, but one thing about this fish is, is they're actually able to live from a 60 degree water up to 80 degrees. So they can live in any anybody's spawn or any state that you're, you know, as long as it's not freezing. Um, what I figure is just like the sturgeons. If you give them enough oxygen, the water can actually be warmer and they can get as enough as oxygen as they need. Because in warmer water, water there's less oxygen. Colder water, there's more oxygen. So as long as you give enough oxygen to their tank, they'll be fine on any temperature. So you can actually have that with the red tail catfish, or you can have that with a, with an arowana. Um, they can go in a variety of tanks, or they can go in actually cold ponds with a sturgeon. So these guys are really cool because of that variety, and um, they eat insects, they eat bugs, they eat algae pellets. You know, they're they're. They're, they're amazing fish, they really are. And the fact that they morph into that different color when they get a, an adult stage, it's amazing. How big can they get? Uh, I, I, did some, I did some research on them and I saw that they can go up to three to four feet long, which is, I, I don't know how long it would take, but I heard they can live for decades. So if you, if you have a really good filtration in your tank and you care for them well, they will live for a long time. These guys right now, I'll say they're just a couple months old. Any more questions? I truly, truly, really like these fish a lot. What do you think about them? Well, it doesn't hurt that they're cute. But that, that's enough about this fish. Let's cut to the chase. What fish are we giving away? You didn't even tell me. All right, uh, come this way. We're giving out this amazing albino Oscars. What do you think about Wait, them? Wait, what? Wait, you don't think they're nice? Oh, they're great, but not really that. You fun. don't think the viewers deserve them? Come on, be real. All right, all right, let's go. I'll show you the real one. Come this way. We are gonna be giving away. Uh, 
an albino silver arowana. Now, what do you think about that? You didn't, you didn't know I was gonna do that, right? I'm shocked. But to oh. win this fish, like I said before, yeah, take the camera. To win this fish, you're gonna have to give us a reason on the comments below. Give us a reason why you should be the winner of this amazing feature. And also, I want to make sure that you have the proper tank. So, if you have a tank that's 75 gallons plus, to be able to take care of it as this at this size, remember this fish will get big. So you're gonna have to upgrade if you don't have a big tank already. But I want to be giving away just because I want to show you guys how I appreciate you subscribing to our channel and following us. Every month we're gonna be doing a giveaway. Maybe it's not something crazy like this, but the first one I want it to be really cool. And I think that's the best fish because everybody can have it in every state. So give us a reason on the comments below. Subscribe to our channel, share it, and uh, we'll see you next time.